Lions Den powered by KCB Bank. Next in the den is an inventive duo of granddad and grandson. We are prepared now. We have done all we can do. It's an open check. They have to feel. Yeah. <laughs> Hello Lions. Hello Lions. I'm Victor Barasa, an interpreter of digital information of engineering. I'm Thelius Lebanon Mchuma, a naval and aeronautical engineer and an inventor. I trained in Britain Industrial Electronics, mechanical, structural, and shipbuilding in German. I have 43 years of experience in engineering. F for the last nine years, I have been working on marine engineering to find out how man can cycle on water the way he can do on road, which has been very successful. And this is because I wanted to try to create a culture in this country of shipbuilding so that I'm able to address the industrial transformation in the maritime sector and Vision 2030. This invention earned me a national honor, Order of the Grand, Warrior Mario. of Kenya by His Excellency the President. We are there, we are want to see if we can revolutionize maritime affairs worldwide. That's why I'm seriously following the footsteps of my grandpa here. We are therefore trying to ask for 20 million with the equity of 20% to enable us purchase a milling machine and a lathe machine and uh, and and other materials that can enable us to start production of our product. A product that has been developed over many years. But are the wheels turning enough for a deal in the den? Joanne Mwangi is first to question. Wow, wow, wow. This is a first in the den. Grandson and grandpa. And you look great, engineer. 43 years experience. Yes. Well done. What is the real need you want to meet with this in Kenya? Not in Kenya. My biggest idea is to take this to Olympic Games and Commonwealth Games. Uh -huh. Because worldwide, nobody had ever come up and had taken a bike to the boat. This was an international problem which mm. required a solution. Mm -hmm. I came and noted that all the Navy people all over the world, when they are with the vessels in the high seas, they don't have outer games like what they can go and do in water. But now like this one can be made in a manner that is jacked out of the vessel. You drop there and you are told, cycle 15 kilometers and come back. What so is it, the benefit? Because I'm looking at it eh? and I've come from those places where we see water in a bucket, we run away. Eh? Mm -hmm. So the target audience is not like an ordinary human being like me because I don't have a place to use it. Well, uh, for example, places like in Kenya, in Budalang, where we normally have uh -huh. flats. You, you may have floods when there is no fuel, even if you have the boat, to fuel your boat. But now this one, you will be able to ferry people quickly. You can carry passengers like the one we tested here in Ruiru. People were using, all eight people. I understand the chap of the hotel was catching them 100 each. Me, I was only researching. I wanted to get the results. I have no expertise in this area, but I know that uh, my friend here knows a lot about engineering, mechatronics, electrical, things like that, you know, big words. <laughs> so I'll, let, I'll allow him to use his big words as he gives you an offer. But for me, I'm out. Thank you. Joanne pulls out of the deal quickly, hoping that a lion more inclined to engineering might jump onto the deal. The lingering question is viability. Chris Senanu wants to find out. Do you have like orders waiting for this? Do you have people who've seen it and want to buy? On the, on the internet, on the internet I've, I've already received inquiry from America to whether I have produced some that I can sell. What is the weight load for this on water? How many kilos can it carry? 390 kilograms. But when people are on, it was coming to about 700 and, uh, 750 and they could only displace five inches. It couldn't go down. And what's the propeller for? Now, this propeller, because this one is out, but I'll do it by hand. When you are cycling, it should move. Now, this time, you are not propelling water. You are now using air, but the boat is just sleeping on water. This one has a higher speed than the one 
the propeller goes down and rotate the water. Engineer, you're a genius. And I think we're all lucky to have met you today in the den. Thank you. Tell me, in terms of your uh, expansion, do you want to set up your own engineering workshop um, to, to fabricate, lathe, do everything on your own, or...? Yes, I made an application to Kenya Investment Authority. Mm -hmm. I've already been given an industrial plot of uh, one acre at Embakasi. I intend to build there and expand. Now, the government, they told me, if you come up with, uh, with, with products, then we would like to give the Minister of Sports immediately so that we can start showing other people that uh, water sporting has already started in Kenya. If I told someone that I met an engineer who can make people cycle on water, they'd think I'm lying, so it's a good thing we're on TV. Is the whole innovation uh, patented? I paid 151,000 shillings to WIPO, and I chose EPO. EPO is the European Patent Office. If nobody else has gone there with a design superseding this one, I am the only one in the International Bureau, the whole world. Okay, good job, fantastic. The Lions are impressed with an international patent in tow. The deal might have floating potential. Engineer? We can work closer to see how best we can celebrate you. Mm. It could be just telling your story. It's amazing how you see your grandson following your footsteps. That tells a lot about you. I'm out and I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Kevin and Joanne are out. Engineer is hoping this boat will sail. So Engineer, I'm also out because again, I don't know much on this area and I can't add any major value. Um, for me, I'm also out, mostly because I think you need much more than the 20 million that you're asking for. You need to find maybe a more strategic partner who can help you develop and build and come up with ways to create products using the innovations that can actually be used by the general public as you also look at getting into the Olympics. And I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Engineer, um, I think this is amazing. I think the first thing we'll do is uh, I will set up a meeting with you and the chairman of the Kenya Association of Manufacturers. So people in the country can actually know uh, that something like this exists. Um, and then, you know, sort of from there, we can see where else you need introductions, what are the help you need. From an investment point of view, I'm out. But I think, you know, we really have to get your story out there, and I'll be happy to assist in that. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much, yeah. No deal for the grandfather and grandson duo in the den. But the engineer wants the last say and has some words of wisdom. You know a bee? Yes. Yeah. We go on stealing honey, but it does not get tired. Why? It is the only creature in the whole world that has been given the formula of honey. Even a human being, you go in the laboratory, you will not get that formula. So this thing has actually really taken a lot of time. I'm doing something nice for the country. I don't see those kind of things. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. We normally say in our place, here is the opposite. It came empty. What happened to mechatronics, you? See, we're going to do outside the day. I was waiting. Electrical mechatronics. No, no, there's no electrical here. Electrical lacuna. But we shall not, we shall not get tired. Lions Den, powered by KCB Bank. Thank you.